All right, I'm gonna get a little silly here, but this actually helps me remember what my horizontal asymptotes are. Okay, I have three possibilities, and I'm using these three cartoon characters over here. Up here we have Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob SquarePants. And if you look at him, and only him, I would assume that he is a bottom heavy character, right? He's bigger on the bottom. And if you look, if you're thinking about a horizontal asymptote, okay, we're thinking about going this way. If you look at where his belt line is, it kind of looks like a big zero. So if it's bottom heavy, your horizontal asymptote is going to be at y equals zero. Now this next character, this is a Zackbot from Wild Kratz. And if you think of Zackbot, you're going to look at him and you're going to say, wow, he's very top heavy, right? He's mostly up here. And if you're looking at this Zackbot that's top heavy, and you come down here and you go to look for an asymptote, do you see anything? No, you don't. A Zackbot really has nothing at the nothing down here. He's got no horizontal asymptote. All right, which brings me to my third and balanced character here. This here is a minion, right? And if you look at this minion, he's kind of balanced, right? He's like same width at the top and on the bottom. And you say, well, where's his horizontal asymptote? And it really depends. You know, it could be down here, it could be up here, could be anywhere. So it's going to depend upon the coefficients of the leading terms. In this case, 28 over 7. So your horizontal asymptote is not going to be down, not going to be at the waistline, not going to be at zero. It's going to be somewhere up here. So uh, I hope that helps. I like to think of bottom heavy is zero. Mr. Krabs, top heavy, you look down here, you got no asymptote if you're top heavy. And then uh, if you're balanced, you know, it could be anywhere.